for someone who never heard of Black Veil Bright, what would you explain Andy Black as? Um, yeah, it's very hard to, to explain your music. I always yeah. find that it's it's a difficult question to, to answer. When we first started, I kind of it was the, the one question that I would kind of make a joke of because it, you really can't like people go, oh, this music sounds like an earthquake and fuck by a dragon. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and that's not. It, it, there's no way to accurately describe what music is, but uh, other than just to listen to it. But it, sonically, I try to make things that are, um, I guess, more. Uh, I guess what you would call pop leaning in the sense that there, it's, there's no heavy breakdowns yeah. or screaming or anything. It, it's more um, akin to the other influences I had. As much as I was influenced by metal music growing up, I loved Psychedelic Furs and Billy Idol and yeah. Adam Ant and things like that. And so this was an opportunity to make music that's more in, in that kind.
even set the world on fire, we had a lot of songs, and they still use a lot of the Black Hills songs. Now. Yeah. So it's, it's really cool for me, being a fan growing up, to see that is really awesome. And I know you've had a lot of injuries on stage, so you're no stranger to taking a bump. If they ever came calling and said, Andy, we want you to be in one segment, and yeah. you need to take I would, I could, I could Andy Kaufman it. Yeah. <laughs> that might be my, my way of, of wrestling, would be yeah. the, the Andy Kaufman style. Man, definitely. And you mentioned Chris Jericho there. Yeah. How did that friendship yeah. come about? I know you're both massive Kiss fans, but what was it that made you guys go, oh, wait a minute, this is the strangest two guys. I know that I love WWE, I love Black Mill Brides. Yeah. How did you become friends? Well, you know, I think that that's just it. We share a lot of the same uh, interests. Yeah. You know, and, I, and I got along with Chris really well, and he started um, inviting me onto his podcast, and we would hang out socially in LA, and it just became a thing where um, we text each other back and forth about little Kiss things. And, stuff. Yeah. and that was really the basis for the friendship, was our mutual interest in, in Kiss and knowing all these funny facts that other the regular people don't necessarily yeah, yeah, yeah. know. Um, yeah, and it just kind of blossomed from there. And anytime I see him, it's, it's always a pleasure. He's such a nice guy, and, and such a, and, and has done things that go above and beyond. You know, um, yeah. for me, I, I'm not. We we he's there have been times where he's had a friend or somebody whose daughter wants to come to the show, yeah. and I, I have no problem doing that because he's done things for me like, um, you know, not to say that I would otherwise, but he's done things for me like I, my neighbor growing up, he's he's really into WWE, and yeah. I said, hey, you know, make me a video. Yeah. He says, hey, this is Chris Jericho, and so, stuff like that. It's just. He goes above and beyond. It's just always so kind, and um, you know, it's just there's very few people that I've met in in his position and, and his kind of level of success who keep that same kind of um, just kindness and humility. Yeah, so I, I have nothing right. but good things to say yeah, about Chris. Yeah. And that's the the kind of thing that I think you come across very well with as well. Where it's like you're so down to earth that it's like, man, you wouldn't imagine it from. But well, not that you wouldn't imagine it. You should imagine that everyone's just a nice person. Yeah. But you know, you never know. Yeah, um, I mean, I, I I operate under the assumption that everything is. is should never make assumptions. You, know, yeah, you never know. And definitely. I think, yeah. I think when I was younger, I, I had more of a wall up when it came to kind of being around other people. And yeah. I tried to do that less and less. But I do know that there are certainly circumstances where people who have gained some sort of fame, it changes them in some capacity. Yeah. And it did for me for a while. But truth be told, until really the last five years or so, um, I went through some some changes emotionally. And there were times where I wasn't very nice. And yeah. I, I try my best to not be that way. Yeah. Anymore. And I was left with one cliffhanger for the last Chris Jericho podcast you're on. Okay. Did you ever buy the vault? The Gene Simmons vault? Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't. Uh, like, but, I, you know, I, I have... Uh, I'll say this. I did not buy it. Yeah. Uh, and I can't say anything. <laughs> no, <that's, laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know you're tussling yeah. with yourself. Yeah. Should yeah. I buy it? Should I not? Yeah. I, I did not buy it, but I have some, some stuff. So. Yeah. And yeah. I've only got a couple of questions left. One of them was, uh, I was actually a massive fan of American Satan. Okay, cool. In terms of acting... Is that I know it's something you've said you want to pursue. Yeah. Is there anything else in the pipeline for that, or is it something that you're just like a focus on the music? If it happens, it happens. You know, it's uh, we're doing we're doing a uh, series that we wrapped, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Paradise City, which is a spin off of the, of the the film, yeah. and it's actually kind of you know not to to bring things down or whatever, but it's it's kind of crazy. This morning, um, Cameron Boyce, who's in Paradise City, yeah, yeah. Uh, passed away at oh, uh, twenty years old. So um, I didn't, you know, we only we shot maybe like one or two scenes together. Yeah. We're storylines but just crazy uh, so I, I feel like I probably couldn't mention that without uh, sending yeah, my yeah, goals yeah. To, to his family and, and everything it's just a really wonderful kid and crazy to see that, that something like that could happen I suppose he had a seizure or something in his yeah. life but uh, yeah to answer your question um, yeah anytime I get the opportunity I'm always down I'm working on a project right now developing something uh, of my own um, working uh, I'm trying to revive a, a, a franchise from many years ago that I would love to see out there in the world again so uh, if anything becomes of that you'll know Excellent, sounds good. And I've got one final question, but before I ask that, I just want to say I'm glad I got through this whole thing without saying uh, Blackfield Brads. Okay. Which I know is yeah. what you said. There was a yeah. thing on, no, I think it was on maybe the last Chris Jericho one, one before you said, yeah. everyone gets Blackfield Brides so wrong that you, yeah. how can you get that name That's wrong? That's my favourite one. That, that so, was, we were in uh, there's a venue in Seattle called El Corazon, and there's apartment complexes, that, like lofts that are behind. Yeah. And we did a photo shoot in the hallway, and so people that lived in these apartment complexes out and they would ask what the band was called yeah. and one of the people that came out we said Blackfield Brides and he said Blackfield Brands and we said yes that is you, you are correct yeah and I always like to end on one very controversial question I've changed it over the years now I've changed it you don't need to ask uh, you don't need to answer it sorry if you don't want to Green Day or Blink 22 uh, so if you were to ask me without knowing them yeah um, I was a bigger fan of Green Day yeah. certainly but I have become close to, uh, you know, I've, I've worked with, with Travis a few times. Yeah, uh, I've worked yeah. with Mark. I've worked with Matt. Like, yeah. I, I know them, and I, I've been around them quite a yeah. bit. And they're all such incredibly wonderful people that if... I, I, and I've, I've met several members of Green Day. I just have to 
side of the plate. Yeah, yeah. Simply out of the fact that, and I love the records that they've made with yeah, Velvet, yeah, yeah. you know. So um, and the new record that they have coming out, like everything that is that they've done over the last couple of years, I'm just such a huge fan yeah. of. So I'm gonna go blank. And the Matsky Bath Light and Cold also came down. Yeah, it's you know, the, the, the big point. Yeah, yeah, really, that that tips it over. For Excellent, me. man. Well, thank you so much. Thanks very much. Great to talk to you.